we realize that there is something more intelligent than we are. Uh, and it could be in the form of artificial intelligence or alien intelligence. New photographs captured by the 2-meter twin telescope, which includes two pairs of 0.8-meter telescopes at the Taiyadi Observatory in the Canary Islands, have revealed something nobody predicted. 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor that has already shattered every astronomical expectation, is now surrounded by what appears to be a barrier, not the diffuse chaotic coma we've been tracking for months, but a distinct luminous boundary that looks deliberate. The images are undeniable. A defined edge encircles the object, geometric in places where gas dispersal should be random and organic. The structure maintains coherent boundaries even as the inner coma churns in violent turbulence. Spectral analysis shows the barrier region emitting light at wavelengths distinct from the surrounding material. It's not blending with space, it's separating from it. This is the third interstellar object discovered on July 1st, 2025. And what was special about it, first of all, the brightness was so large that if you were to assume it's a solid object, it had to have a diameter of 20 kilometers. But what could create a barrier around an object traveling through the vacuum of interstellar space? Could intense outgassing somehow form a stable shell at this distance from the sun? The physics don't support it. Gas expands, dissipates, follows pressure gradients. It doesn't organize into geometric boundaries. Could electromagnetic fields be sculpting plasma into a protective envelope? That would require an internal magnetic dynamo far more powerful than anything a comet-sized body should possess. Is this a thermal regulation system, managing heat absorption as it approaches our star? Or are we looking at something our current models can't categorize, a phenomenon operating on principles we haven't discovered yet? And finally, is this alien technology? The questions multiply faster than answers. You know, even the uh, issue of communication. How do you communicate with, with them if they, they are much more capable than we are? You know, they might operate on a different uh, level, a different plane. If this is a defensive structure, what is it defending against? Radiation bombardment from the sun's increasing intensity. Micrometeorite impacts at 130,000 miles per hour. Charged particle streams that could erode surface material. Every natural explanation requires mechanisms that exceed what we understand about comet behavior. A barrier implies intention. Hold on, what I'm about to reveal in the next 30 seconds will completely flip your understanding of why this barrier matters beyond astronomy. If 3i Atlas is employing technology to shield itself, if it's actively managing its interaction with our solar environment, then we're not observing a cosmic accident. We're witnessing intention from beyond our star system, which forces us to confront a question that bridges science and philosophy in ways most people avoid. So if aliens exist, should we believe in God? Recently, I came across a fascinating interview with Avi Loeb, in which he describes approaches to belief in God upon discovering the existence of an alien civilization. A new one, different from ours. See for yourselves. Now, uh, I had a group of uh, uh, religious scholars from uh, the organization Christianity Today that came to visit me at Harvard and they said, um, well, if we find uh, evidence for extraterrestrials, would that um, uh, shake our religious belief in God? You know, if you th want to think of God as cap uh, very capable, then obviously God can attend to multiple civilizations. We may have siblings among the stars. And the only issue with that, I mean, it will actually if you believe in God, it should make it your belief even stronger because uh, it's quite amazing to realize that uh, there are many uh, kids to that parent, you know, like, uh, but uh, the only issue might be that if you get jealous at one of your siblings because they're more accomplished than you are. This is a very interesting perspective. Set that existential weight aside for a moment. Before the barrier images surfaced, before we started asking theological questions, 3i Atlas was already destroying the rule book. The story began months ago, when telescopes picked up what seemed like a routine discovery. This was the third interstellar object ever detected. We just discovered three, but there are many more. <laughs> uh, we started uh, developing the instruments uh, to, that are capable of, of noticing them only over the past decade. Odds of witnessing one during your lifetime, roughly one in 20,000. 
Its hyperbolic trajectory proved it came from another star system. Early estimates suggested a small, unremarkable ice chunk, perhaps a few miles across. Scientists expected textbook comet behavior, gradual warming, predictable tail formation, standard physics. They were catastrophically wrong. What happens in the next 20 seconds will challenge everything mainstream science has told you about comets. The object didn't warm gradually. It exploded. Brightness surged in an exponential detonation that unfolded across weeks. The coma began expanding at rates so extreme, researchers initially assumed equipment failure. Interstellar space can deliver a rock of 20 kilometers at best once per 10,000 years. If you take all the rocky material, pack it into 20 kilometer rocks, uh, once per 10,000 years, you can get one to cross uh, the inner solar system. Recalibration confirmed the impossible. This was real. The measurements defied belief. The coma swelled to 400,000 miles in diameter. You could fit Jupiter inside with room to spare. It was shedding material thousands of times faster than typical comets. This thing had become a monster. We get a mass of 33 billion tons. That's the minimum mass. The object needs to be more massive than that. Hubble images deepened the mystery. The coma was a maelstrom, turbulent plumes erupting asymmetrically, jets firing in multiple directions, a nucleus obscured in the blazing glare of its own violent outgassing. Even the iciest comets in our system don't behave this way. Stop right here. The next 25 seconds contain the one detail that separates routine observation from existential mystery. Every astronomer tracking 3i Atlas agreed on what would happen next. Catastrophic fragmentation. Comet C-2019 Y4 Atlas brightened similarly in 2020, then shattered into pebbles and dust as it approached the sun. Models were unambiguous. An object venting this violently should be structurally unstable, like a dam hollowed out by the flood it's trying to contain. It never happened. Against every prediction, 3i Atlas held together. The nucleus endured its self-inflicted storm without fracturing. This meant something profound. It had to be incredibly dense, remarkably solid, with structural coherence exceeding anything in our experience with comets. Industry insiders noticed something in the spectroscopy data that changed the entire conversation. James Webb analyzed light filtering through the coma, detecting chemical fingerprints with extraordinary precision. The results shocked researchers. Water ice, the dominant ingredient in every comet we've studied, was surprisingly scarce. Instead, frozen carbon dioxide dominated, along with complex organics and heavy elements. The CO2 to water ratio, eight to one, 16 times richer than any comet in our databases. This wasn't a dirty snowball. It was a chemical factory, suggesting formation conditions radically different from our stellar neighborhood. It has also uh, unusual materials uh, being shed off it, like nickel without iron that we, are, well, we only find in industrial production. But the chemical anomaly paled compared to what showed up in optical images. Comet tails always point away from the sun. It's as fundamental as gravity. Hubble photographs showed the expected tail, but also something else. A narrow, focused beam of light projected forward from the object aligned with its travel direction, a headlight cutting through the void. Light doesn't organize itself this way naturally. A coherent beam requires deliberate collimation, optical engineering. The emission was steady, directed, searchlight-like. When Harvard physicist Avi Loeb saw the beam data, he went public. No known natural phenomenon could explain forward-firing focused light from a comet-like object. The energy budget and focusing mechanism exceeded anything observed in natural celestial bodies. Speculation erupted. Navigation system, communication laser, propulsion technology. Trajectory analysis had already revealed small deviations unexplained by outgassing alone. It looked less like a rock being nudged and more like a craft making calculated adjustments. Right now, before we go further, there's something buried in the orbital mechanics that changes everything. 3i Atlas is approaching perihelion, closest pass to the Sun, where radiation and gravity reach maximum intensity. Every telescope should be capturing this moment at maximum resolution, but we're going to miss the entire event. 
As 3i Atlas makes its critical pass, it will be on the complete opposite side of the Sun from Earth, totally obscured by our star's blinding glare for weeks, solar conjunction. It will enter this blind spot as a massive anomaly, surrounded by a barrier and emitting an impossible beam. When it emerges, we'll have zero knowledge of what it has become or what it has done. In exactly 15 seconds, you'll discover why this timing is the most suspicious detail in the entire story. For scientists, this represents frustration. Decades of technology rendered useless by orbital geometry. But for those who suspect 3i Atlas is more than ice, this conjunction represents opportunity. A close stellar pass is the perfect moment to execute a gravity assist maneuver, the cosmic slingshot our spacecraft used to change direction without burning fuel. An advanced probe could exploit the sun's gravity to break from interstellar speeds, pivot toward destinations within our system, or adjust trajectory with impossible precision. Every maneuver would happen while completely invisible to our observation networks. The odds that an interstellar visitor would arrive with trajectory times so perihelion occurs during perfect conjunction. Blocking all observation at the single most critical moment are staggeringly low. Factor in the barrier, the beam, the impossible survival, the alien chemistry. Coincidence strains credibility past the breaking point. Whether something is wrong or something is watching, 3i Atlas has rewritten the rules. A barrier we can't explain surrounds it. A beam that shouldn't exist projects from it. A passage timed with impossible precision will hide it. Chemistry that should be familiar is alien. What emerges from behind the sun's glare may finally answer the question we've whispered since we first looked up, or deepen the mystery forever. What do you think the barrier is protecting? Natural phenomenon or engineered shielding around something that traveled between the stars? Share your theory below.